what's up so today's video is another challenge video um i didn't mean to post back-to-back -back challenge videos it just happened this way so i'm sorry about that but today's video is actually going to be a challenge that's similar to the blindfold makeup challenge actually not similar to the blindfold makeup challenge because you have to do somebody else's makeup but it's similar to the no mirror makeup challenge because you can't see what you're doing because in today's video i'm going to be doing my makeup that's right, I am turning off all the lights in my room today and I'm going to be doing a full face of makeup, even my eyebrows. I always do my brows before I jump on camera, but I figured for a video like this, I should definitely do my brows on camera. But anyway, I went out and I bought a different camera because I needed a camera that had night mode, you know, like night vision, because it would be a pointless video if you can't see what I'm doing either and it's going to be dark. Like right now it's pouring. I'm not sure if you guys can hear it, but it is pouring so hard at my house right now. It is almost midnight and I have my room lights turned off right now, but my vanity is on. So I have the light bulbs on my vanity shining bright. And as soon as I turn them off, it's gonna get dark in here. so I really wanted to do my intro with light on because I'm scared of the dark. Oh my god, that was like a super loud thunder. I got, real, I got real nervous for a second. I'm scared of the dark. I've always been scared of the dark. And I'm not scared if there's somebody else with me in the room. A physical someone else that I know. Not like a Marisu with me in the room or anything like that. But when I'm alone, I'm petrified of the dark. My mind just starts playing tricks on me and I don't like it. So we are going to try to get through this video as quickly as possible. Obviously it's not like a tutorial, okay? Don't expect much with my look. And I also figured I would bring the majority of my makeup right here in front of me. But I also have my drugstore bronzer, blushes, and highlights in my desk right here. So I thought it would be fun to pick them during the video, you know, like not pick them ahead of time. So who knows what I'm going to be applying on my face. It might be a color I'm not expecting, but we'll see. Anyway. Okay, I guess I'm going to turn the late off now <laughs> let me put night mode all right oh my god i'm obviously gonna turn this little flip camera over so that i can't see myself in the viewfinder okay let's do it this looks so freaking creepy i'm scared okay Okay, I have to put something here so that I don't see my reflection in the mirror. There, I can't see myself now. Okay. Oh my god. All right, let's begin. Did I take out primer? Primer, primer. Setting did not make any sudden noises. I will freaking lose it. Okay, I forgot to take out primers. I'm just gonna open my drawer here and feel for a primer. What's this? Ah, oh, is this primer water? Yeah, that'll do. So we're gonna primer water it up. Oh man, it goes in my brows. That's right, that's the first thing I wanna do. Okay, I have to reach over in here. Oh man, I should've taken out my brow products first. Now I don't know which brow, oh, okay. <laughs> you know, I know this is the Benefit brow pencil because it's shaped weird. So good job, Benefit. Damn it, <laughs> this one's empty. One jump ahead of the bread line. One swing, hand of the sword. That's everything. I'm trying to sing so that I'm not scared. <laughs> They're quick, but I'm much faster. Oh my gosh, I cannot find a brow pencil. Okay, I don't know what brand this is. I want to say M Cosmetics. Honestly, I don't know, but I'm going to use it. And I don't even know if it's my shade, but I'm going to use it. Oh my gosh, this is going to be the worst part. My brows. <laughs> oh crap, I just broke the tip of this. I just don't know how long it is. Like how much have I taken out? I can't see it. <laughs> Oh, okay, that was my eyeball. Sorry. Okay, concentrate, Kathleen, concentrate. You did the no mirror makeup challenge and it was excellent. <laughs> you can do this. Um, whoever's licking their privates, can I maybe put a pause to that? Oh, has it always been this quiet when I've... I swear if I'm looking back at this footage and I see anything, I'm gonna lose it. Anyway, next subject, next subject. So how are you guys? How are you guys? I feel chilly all of a sudden. Pfft, bro, I, I struggle doing my brows when I'm looking at a mirror, so. Oh boy. If your brows are normally twins, or I mean sisters, mine aren't even related. I'm going for a, um, 
Actually, I don't know what I'm going for because I can't tell, but <laughs> I'm not gonna go for my typical brow is what I'm getting at. Okay, so I, I think my brows are good. Oh, I have to put on brow gel though, duh. Let's see, which one is the brow gel? Oh, I think this is like an elf one and we'll see. I don't know if it's my shade or I don't know if it's clear. I don't know anything, but we're gonna put it on. All right, now we can jump into foundation. I'm actually gonna be using a brand new foundation. Um, I just recently bought this off of Sephora. What is this called? <laughs> it's called Fluid Foundation, Stila Fluid Foundation. I'm not sure. I'm gonna use the brand new It Cosmetics Love Is The Foundation brush that has betrayed me this year because they released a flat version this year. Why would they do that to me? I don't wanna talk about it. I don't wanna talk about it at all time. Anyway, I'm going to... Um... I'm gonna... Apply that to my face. I wonder how the finish of this foundation is. I wonder what it's looking like. It's feeling nice. Obviously I have to use this brush with the lights on so I can see how it's working, but I can just tell. I, the feeling is not the same. It feels like rough and flat. The original Love is the Foundation brush just like hugs to your cheeks. And, ugh, it's just magical. This is flat. Okay, we're gonna add some more foundation. I just, I, like, I don't feel it at the top. I'm, it, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> I don't know if I applied too much because I feel like as soon as I pump this onto the brush, it just sinks right in. It's a very, very liquidy foundation, so it doesn't really sit on top. It just sinks right into the brush. I feel like that's enough foundation. I really like the coverage. <laughs> Oh, just kidding. <laughs> Ooh, I'm getting nervous. I'm getting more and more nervous as the time goes on. Okay, now we are going to move on to concealer. Let's see what concealer we're gonna be using today. Yes, this is definitely tart shape tape. And I need a brush. Let's feel for a nice concealery brush. All right. Yeah, this is the Morphe G2, I think. I'm just gonna apply that underneath the eyes. But I'm also gonna apply a little bit of that onto my lids to use this as a primer for eyeshadow. And then I'm going to apply this in my T-zone. This brush is smelling weird. I wonder when was the last time I washed this brush? All right, I'm trying to speed through this process really, really fast. <laughs> I'm actually going to set my concealer with a brand new powder I've never used before. This is um, one from Urban Decay. It's, I forget. I forget what the name is. I'll put it right here. But the cap on this is actually a brush. So it's really, really cool. Let me see. I think there's like a sticker in here. Uh, I found a little lip. <laughs> okay. And then with a teardroppy brush, I'm going to dip it into this. I don't know if I'm picking anything up. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Am I? You know, I'm just gonna pour some on the back of my hand because I can't tell when I put my brush into the actual packaging. I don't know if I'm picking anything up. If I seem very tense and quiet and weird in this video, it's because I am scared of the dark, so. <laughs> okay. I feel nice and set. This foundation is pretty good. It doesn't feel tacky, but then again, I just set my whole face, so. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my face makeup before I move on to the eyes. So I'm gonna grab my bronzer. Let's see, I'm gonna feel for a bronzer, I know. Okay, this. This is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer or another, no, this is the butter bronzer, wait. Yes, definitely the butter bronzer. I don't know what shade this is. This is either the shade bronzer or endless summer, something like that. And if it's endless summer, it's definitely too dark for me. <laughs> Hopefully it's in the shade bronzer. And uh, let's see, okay, I'm gonna use this brush because it's the first one I grabbed. This is definitely too big for bronzer, this brush, but it'll do. Okay, so that is bronzer. Nice and bronzed, contoured. For blush, let's see what other drugstore blush we've got here in this drawer. Ooh, should we do a cream? This is a ColourPop blush. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna use an original Love is the Foundation brush. And then I'm gonna apply this ColourPop blush. Um, I don't know what shade it is, but I'll put the name of the shade right here. <laughs> 
once I turn the lights on and I see what it is. I'm curious to see how this cream product applies on top of this foundation. Like, is it patchy? Is it nice and smooth? I mean, I also applied powder all over my cheeks, but we'll see how it looks. All right, let's pick a highlight. I'm just gonna reach back here and grab the first one. No, 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 this one's too, I already can feel it. It's my Essence highlight. That's too natural for today. I think this is a Milani highlight. No, this isn't Milani. I don't know what this is. <laughs> Let me get my highlight brush. I think this is a Morphe one. I want to say it feels like Essence Catrice packaging, but let's apply that to the tops of my cheekbones. All right, so that is the face all done. I'm gonna get started on the eyes. I'm actually, where is it? Where is it? Ah, here. I'm actually gonna be using the new Artist Couture eyeshadow palette. I got so excited when I saw this. I really, really love Artist Couture. The formulas are so good. Like their highlights, their glitter shadows. I'm really, really into it. So I'm gonna feel for a crease brush. And then I don't remember which shade is which. I know that there are browns on the left side of the palette, so I'm gonna focus on the left side, but I know that there's a blue on the left side of the palette as well. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna feel with my fingers because I can feel the finish. Oh, okay, I think the top left is the blue because that felt shimmery to me. Oh no, the one next to that feels shimmery to me. Yeah, the one next to that felt shimmery, not the first one. Yeah, no, damn it. <laughs> Actually, I can't tell. Let's just hope for the best. I'm obviously gonna do just a really simple look. I'm assuming I'm putting like a brown in my crease and then I'm gonna take another brush and put like a deeper brown on my outer corners and then I'll take the blue on my lid. The color directly underneath the second shade is the darker brown. I only looked at this palette for like a second. I just got it, so I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> I can't even tell if I'm picking up any eyeshadow at all because when I put my brush down in the palette, I don't know if I'm stamping the eyeshadow. It feels like I am, but I don't know if I'm putting my brush directly into the eyeshadow or if I'm like missing it, you know? With a smaller brush, I'm gonna go ahead and use that same shade on my lower lash line. By the way, my camera shut off, so I don't know what part it stopped recording at, but I turned it back on without looking at myself and I was just applying the eyeshadow to my lower lash line, really, really close to my lower lash line because I don't want it to look too smoky or maybe I do. <laughs> We'll see. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna take some of the shimmery blue eyeshadow in this palette. Let me feel for it. I know it's on the left side. This feels matte. <laughs> I, was gonna, I was gonna smell it. It's this one. This feels so shimmery. If it's not this, I'm gonna be really disappointed. I'm gonna go ahead and apply that all over my lid. There really isn't a highlight shade in this palette, like a light shimmery shade. So I'm just gonna leave this look like this. I am gonna apply some eyeliner in my waterline and in my tight line. I don't know what color this, oh man, what if this is a lip liner? Oh, well this is a liquid liner. I needed to use this anyway, so I'm just gonna place that right in front of me. Okay, I need, ah, uh, this is an eyeliner. You know how I know? Because of this chunkiness right here. This is definitely a drugstore eyeliner because it still has like little plastic wrapping all around it. So I am pretty positive that this is an eyeliner and not a lip liner. I'm trying to think. No, this, this isn't a lip liner. Okay, we're good. Gonna apply some liquid liner before I go in with my falsies. <laughs> This is my tricky eye, so it might not look as good as this one. I'm not gonna do a wing or anything. I just wanna add like a thick eyeliner to my lid, but I'm not gonna wing it out. Now I'm gonna go in with some falsies. I did take some out earlier because I have my falsies in my closet. I picked out the Tarte falsies, and then this is my um, House of Lashes lash glue. So let's pop these on. I don't know if I'm putting any on the actual band. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure I'm putting it on the band. I just don't know how much I'm putting. <laughs> just gonna let that dry for a second. Love is all around me, don't you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Oh, I think I got it. 
Actually, it doesn't feel like I got it. <laughs> oh my God, that's like miles and miles away from my freaking lashes. Oh, I actually got that one on pretty fast. Damn, that one actually feels good. I mean, it's stabbing me a little bit in the inner corners, but uh, maybe it's just because the lashes are too long but I feel like I got this one. Okay, we are almost done. The only thing we're missing is the lip. I actually grabbed my little NARS lip liner holder I have here. I keep this on my shelf and I rarely use these lip liners because they are wooden and I prefer a creamier lip liner, but I thought it would be interesting to just bring this on my vanity and pick something out of this because there are so many different colors in here and I don't know which one is which. So I think it would be interesting to just pick something and hope for the best, so. I'm gonna go with this shade. Actually, you know what? This feels pretty creamy. <laughs> I mean, it's wooden, so it's not like super creamy, but it's not very rough. I'm gonna overdraw my lips just a little bit or a lot of bit, <laughs> who knows? And then I'm gonna fill in my lips with this lip liner. And then I'm actually just gonna put my um, ColourPop Moonchild gloss right on top because I have it right here. And I think it would be the perfect lip gloss to apply on top of this lip liner, so. Oh my gosh, guys. We are officially done. The only thing we have left is to apply our setting spray. This is the Morphe setting spray, of course. We have to set this masterpiece down. But that's it, guys. I cannot wait to see what my face looks like. All right, are you ready? Oh wait, let me take off night mode before I see myself. Okay, what do you guys think? Okay, I'm about to see myself. All right, are you ready? I look like I'm going to an 80s workout video. Let's warm up those legs. Hold on. This eyebrow looks fabulous. Wow, I am impressed with this eyebrow. This eyebrow, not so much. I kind of messed up a little bit here. Oh my God, my lashes. Guys, look at these lashes. That's impressive. That's impressive. That is almost on there perfectly, right? <laughs> oh my gosh, I forgot to put on mascara. Oh, I'm such an idiot. But wow, I'm impressed with that lash, let me tell you. I'm impressed with that lash. This one, not so much, not so much. My lips are a little bit Miranda Singsy. Not gonna lie, my lip is not the best. You know what? <laughs> I accidentally applied some of the purple glitter on this eye. Yeah, I felt myself like dipping into the wrong eyeshadow when I was applying it on this side. I grabbed a little bit of the purple, but besides that, it's not too bad. I mean, my blush looks freaking crazy. I mean, I wouldn't go out like this, but I mean, what highlight was that? This ain't no highlight. Why was this in my highlight drawer? Luminizing powder? What? This is not a highlight. This should definitely be put away in my powder drawer because it's just like a luminous like face powder, but it's not highlighty at all. No wonder. My cheeks are not highlighted. <laughs> I look like that lady from the Drew Carey show. <laughs> I'm so 80s and super colorful. I love it. I mean, not really. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was somewhat entertaining. I'm glad the lights are finally on and that we got through this video. Anyway, guys, that completes this video. This was my in the dark makeup challenge. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below letting me know what challenge you want to see from me next. But that completes this video, guys. I love you so, so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. It's our friendly... Shark <laughs> shape tape, but it comes with this little attachment. But the cap, let me, let me start over. Take that, just a little snack, guys. Oof. I feel like I heard something, but I'm gonna ignore it. <laughs>